to Blue Tattoo 2020 July part one. Yes, uh, this is when we left quarantine, we're out exploring the island of Grenada and enjoying ourselves immensely. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, as I say, it's part one. We got squeezed a lot in July, so we're breaking into two parts, so it's not too long. Enjoy, and as always, leave your comments, money and love. So here we are, back in the Port Louis for a couple of days before we head to Carcao, Carcao. Um, and it's a couple of days, it's still Covid obviously so need this on but we can at least move about and enjoy ourselves. I'm just going to catch up with Linda, She's um, she decided she wanted to go to the pool, there's a pool here so I've got my trunks on, I'm just going to go and join her. <laughs> go away. Yes. So here she is working hard no, at the pool. So I'd come and join you and say hello. The boat going. today and uh, Steve's job <laughs> is trying to clean the window <laughs> outside our bedroom, the, the escape hatch. Uh, the salt has really... Ah. <laughs> the salt has deposited itself on the window and he's on my board, our board. But unfortunately it keeps moving away from the surface he's trying to scrape. That has to be another solution. Well, good morning. Um, it's Sunday the 5th of July and I am going to go up the mast to fix the aerial again. Uh, the antenna, get shouted out if you call it an aerial. Uh, at the very top of the mast there you can see, well you can just about see an aerial. Uh, sorry, an antenna! Gonna get shot. Antenna for our VHF radio for our AIS signal. Um, so it, it's wobbly, it wobbles. Now, James Barber went up and fixed it with a bit of string uh, about seven months ago. So it's got loose again. So at the time he said this could be fixed so easily if we had some uh, cable ties. And I didn't have a single cable tie. And since that moment, um, everybody who's come out has come out with cable ties. <laughs> So I have got loads now. So I've got a pocket full of different sizes, different colours um, and different strengths to go and try and fix it. So I'm going to go up with the help of my good lady wife. Uh, so I'll go right up to the top and fix that wobbly white thing at the very top, which is just shaking a wee bit and try and get it fixed. Not my favourite job because I've got vertigo, but needs must when the devil farts in your face. So that's Steve up there, up the mast, trying to fix our... Um radio aerial because uh, it's been wobbling about quite a bit so yeah I always feel a bit worried when he's up there but I'll get him down soon hopefully quite a long way up okay my uh, if I'm shaking slightly <laughs> it's because I'm very high up there's the top of the mast there and here we are in Port Louis Marina very nice view, and then all the way down there is Blue Tattoo the Linda waving. And I'm all the way up here fixing the antenna, which I've now done. And now I'm going to put this back in my pocket so my hand stops shaking. <laughs> I don't like heights. Okay, bye! <laughs> well, as you just saw, uh, I went up the mast to um, fix the antenna on top, which I've done, which is great. Um, and we came back down and I was undoing the um, the block which holds the halyard which was pulling me up and then I saw a very scary thing here which is, you can see that, it's a lovely crack going more than halfway across the shackle and that's what was taking all my weight. <laughs> I obviously I didn't see that on the way up now I don't know what happened while we were up there but it looks I think it doesn't look brand new it looks reasonably old so I got myself a bit lucky and um, so obviously we're um, going to change it and we've got a brand new one um, up here which I'll just go up as you can see Linda's stitching a mouse line which is a line that gets attached to a rope that gets fed through 
and then you can pull on the thin line it'll pull the rope all the way through so here's a brand new um block shiny shiny very nice um which we had spare um and now we're just about to take this tiny little mouse line here pull on it and it will take up the line all the way up into the mast and all the way down the mast and out the mast and back to where it belongs that's the plan are you ready my darling i am okay so uh you have to start gently uh, hold on hold on you have to edge it out. yeah i can Steady. <laughs> yes. Yes. You got it. So, if, so if this snaps. Point the camera. So if this snaps and that's stuck in the mast. There's nothing you can do. You actually have to take it out and then you have to get a, a, a rigger to come in and do the whole rigging. So this little bit of line saved us a lot of money and a lot of hassle. Well done, babe. Thank you. Good morning, so yeah, it's the 7th of July and so we're leaving Grenada today and we're going to head towards a place called Karakou, which is an island north of um, Caribbean and uh, Grenada. So what I've done here is, this is Grenada here, um, and we are where that red triangle is down here, and we're heading not very far up to Karakou, but we do have to go past a volcano called Kikum Jenny, and as you can see there's two exclusion zones here, there's a red alert exclusion zone and there's a smaller one. At the moment it's not very active so we can go inside the big one but not the little one so we're going to go past it. Um, it's under it's an underwater volcano so it, uh, it's not we won't get killed by lava what happens is when the water when the um, volcano uh, erupts underwater it effervesces there's lots of gas given out and what happens is the water loses its buoyancy and any ship that sails into that turbulence just sinks because there's no buoyancy so literally it goes from la 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 to shoom, underwater and uh, even a cat which has got positive buoyancy it will still go under and um, so yes we're definitely keeping away from it anyway very excited this morning it's it's, it's a new we've got something new as you as you know our uh, logbook got um what's the word water locked <laughs> how long we've got water locked is it all right never mind anyway uh, so we need a new and we have a brand new logbook look at this Adlard Cole's nautical logbook. Yeah, I'll need, need to work out what our total um, distance is actually because uh, we've lost that because we used to write it in uh, the distance every time so we could add it up and see how far we'd come since we've left Rhoda de Berra back in the 1st of April 2019. Anyway, okay, lovely day. It's been raining. It's and we're off, off to Karyaku which is a sister island to uh, Grenada and leaving behind Grenada. Which uh, see the captain waving, always has to have a look in of course. And uh, there's a quarantine area that we spent two weeks in. So it's a lovely place. We'll be back probably in about a week and meet up with our friends who are still in there. But for now, we're off and heading so... to... So, we're off on our way to Karakou. Uh, engine's on because there's wind is we're protected from the wind by uh, Grenada itself so it ends in our own snow but we have the new lure out and our new fishing line out so we're hoping we're hoping for mahi mahi but we'll settle for tuna uh, yeah so it's it's out there you know how lucky we are with fishing not I don't know how many lures we've lost and the whole reel of line we lost as well so yeah but we're hopefully this time we'll actually catch something here between Grenada and Karyaku on our way to um, spend a few days in Karyaku and actually at the moment we are passing Kikamjeni which is an underwater volcano 
which is experiencing increased activity at the moment. Normally it has about uh, 100 eruptions um, a month. At the moment it's got a thousand, so it's on yellow alert. So we're keeping, we've got to keep a um, good distance from it. So we're, I'll show you where it is. It's quite lovely islands here. So there's three islands in here. The big one on the left um, is the Diamond, Diamond Island. And the long wide one in the middle and then to the right is where Kick and Jenny is. So we're about four miles away from her at the moment. So fingers crossed she doesn't erupt in the moment. Like, oh my god! That's Grenada over there, which we've just left with some small islands and the volcano. And we come around here and this is Karaku. We're just getting our mooring line ready. And this is Karaku. And this is the preview is Tyrrell Bay. Uh, there are mooring balls and there's anchorages there, so we're going to go and have a look around and see what there is for us. It's supposed to be a nice little bay, it's got restaurants, it's got some shops, um, but it looks very pretty and Linda's very excited about going to a new place. Yeah, there we go. So here we are, uh, we decided to come into Turtle Bay, uh, which is here, as you can see. Very nice. A few boats here. Ourselves a mooring ball, which is always helpful. I'll, I'll swim down and check in a minute, but that usually gives it a bit more comfort to know it's a mooring ball and shouldn't can't move. Um, so the uh, other mooring ball, and uh, I'm just going to check it because we're getting a few reports that some of the mooring balls in the uh, Caribbean are not maintained and the boats float away, and we don't want that to happen, anymore, especially if we're in the water. So we're going to check it. So we are landed on uh, Karakou in Terrell Bay. I'm just going to have a wander around and see. I need my mask somewhere. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and so those people just walk past and people over there don't have masks on. Oh, there's a little bar over there. Isn't there? oh, uh, there's a... Uh, there over there, Lucy and John. So on land in uh, Karakou. Hello. 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 We'll have a look on our way back. Come back, definitely. Okay. Bye. So that's it. That's what happens all the time. You ask people want fruit, or they want uh, want some fruit, some bananas, or eggs, or whatever it is. They shirt across to you. So we're leaving uh, Turtle Bay behind. We're off to Sandy Island. Uh, and to add to my injuries on this trip, we've had uh, two broken fingers, bashes, my elbow. I've now got uh, a nice cut, I don't know if you can see that there, on my temple, caused by me being stupid. Um, we had the, this was slid across uh, just in case it rained, and I walked in and went wham, right on it. How? I swore a lot, an awful lot. Okay, so uh, we're heading towards Sandy Island. Sandy Island just disappeared behind this grey wall, which is speeding towards us. Um, I know you've seen before that uh, the Caribbean can be about a bit rainy and wet, but I've not quite seen it like this before. I am tucking in the side of this. Still getting on it. Oh, yeah, the wind actually pushed us right around the ocean while I couldn't cope with it. I was going to smear my makeup. Yeah, this is the 
this is where the Caribbean really shines. The one that's just that's in front of the Desert Eagle now. The one that's in front of it now. This side of it. Today, but the sun's out. The sea is absolutely crystal clear. You can see the bottom very clearly. So uh, there's a reef over here, and there's a reef down at the other end of the island as well. So we're going to go ashore after lunch, have a swim, look at the fishies. There's supposed to be nurse sharks here as well, so it'll be very exciting. It'll be our first uh, proper size shark. We've seen small sharks, uh, but it'll be our first proper size sharks in the Caribbean. And who is this? Gorgeous creature it comes towards me. It's my wife. And there over there is blue tattoo. And here's Linda. There's blue tattoo. And it comes through. And there's Aqua girl, dollar gear. <laughs> and at last we found our tropical paradise. <laughs> it's just amazing. Not too bad at all. We're key on this beautiful island, Sandy Island, and in front of us is an incredible spectacle of pelicans and gulls doing a, it must be a giant bait ball here. We just chased it down the island. Wow, for a fish. <laughs> oh my god. I think I've just scared them all. <laughs> wow, it's like the birds. We like your fish right now. Sandy Island and it's very pretty um, but <laughs> our food's not cooking yet and we're starving. We're having a barbecue and uh, you see all these tracks here as you can see we have lots and lots of hermit crabs wandering about from tiny new ones like him Big boys. Oh, and this is this is where the serious work is being done here. Wow. Barbecue. Yeah, we're cooking and eating. Excellent. Dude. Yeah, I used to breed snakes and crabs. Yeah, it's, it's an old big boy. The crab's down a bit. Oh, he's got. Okay, you see. Look, have you he seen his pinchers? Have you seen his pinchers? And how many nice. times has it?